Alright, hey guys and welcome back to 9 Hours, 9 Persons, 9 Doors, the first Zero Escape game, our first Zero Escape game of the series. We did the submarine ending last time and I found out why my game kept on crashing every time I clicked the left mouse button and then the end of the credits. And that's because when the game released, and I'm not sure if they fixed it or not, I had to use a crack for it, but it seems that if you A, torrent the game, or B, play the game in offline mode, and when you complete an ending, it's unable to send the request to a complete the achievement. And for some reason, this is necessary, even though the DS game had nothing like this. Now, I think it was actually on purpose. I think um, Spike Chunsoft put it in there. So it's like, oh yeah, they have to be online, which means they need to buy the game on Steam so no one can play it properly if they torrent it. And then the torrenters created a crack for it literally 12 hours after the cram, the bug was found, and way before Spike actually fixed it. <laughs> Which I don't think they actually were planning to fix. Go away! Um, but either way, I fixed it, I've got the ending, um, and some things I didn't realise was the memories of escape, it actually tells you the names of all the places you've been in and what order they are. So, there's the third class cabin, which was the, um, which was the starting area, but I'm trying to think of a specific name, it's like the bunker area for, well, low class people. Um, then there's the first class cabin, the casino, that was right afterwards, the shower room, the confinement room, and the torture room. So, we'll most have to be going to the other places in this playthrough. So, what I'm gonna do... You'll be starting from the best beginning of the game. No! I do not want... No! Fuck. Okay, then. So, what we can do now that we're into the game... Waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, waiting, there it is. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one as well. Good. Flow chart! Alright, now we can go back here. The four and five doors. This is back when we had to choose a door. So, let's go. Alright, I'll decide the floor. Door five would be fine. Door four. Door four, not five. Whoa! Whoa, 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 Why was it on skip? Now then. Okay, it's on stop this time. It's not on that. And I also think the crack helped with the auto. Because it was on auto just there before I went into the flow chart, but also after I stopped the recording so I could go back. And there wasn't breaks. I'm going to test that out. I'm gonna put on auto. Door four will be fine. I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. Nope, this still breaks. There's nothing to worry about. There still fucking breaks. I just need to stay by her side. This should be fine. It's no problem this way. I should see the other four off. Looks Let's like see. Ace and the others are going. Uh. uh I think. This sound is... No, it's not loud. Okay, that's weird. It just sounds loud. There they go. Now then. Goodbye. Be careful. In you go! <sighs> so horrible! Is he gonna say it? What are you doing? We need to hurry. Snake, your shoes. It's fine. Hurry. It's just blood, Clover. Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Sorry, Snake. Let's go. He has a point. He has a very good point. <laughs> hey, how is it over there? Did you find anything? Please say something, will you? I'm dead. Ah, it's a nightmare. Uh, something's beeping. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? Uh. <laughs> uh. Hey, there it is. That's gotta be that dead thing. Come on, get over here. We gotta authenticate. Just keep in mind, this is back in the past. So it was the first time I've gone through a number door. 
The beeping stopped. Phew. Looks like it stopped. Hey, guys, are you doing all right over there? Yep, we're fine. Oh, hey, I'm going to tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? I'm going to be your narrator. Last time it was Akane. This is a numbered door, but this time I'm going to explain things. The dead is just like the red, but the color is different. And there's an uh, D instead of an all. You know how the red was red? Well, the dead is blue. Well, I thought the dead was dead. Other than that, <laughs> it's just like the red. Besides the fact that it doesn't have a name above it, like a vacant or engaged. Authenticating is the same, too. <laughs> awesome! Thanks! That helps a lot. Well, we should probably move on <laughs> He says now. that all the time when talking. It's hilarious. I'm sorry. I shouldn't really... I shouldn't really say things like that when the voice actors go through a lot of work to do this, but it's just... It's it's funny to notice the the side things like oh, yeah that's great oh great <laughs> sorry <laughs> I'm trying not to, I'm trying to be sensible but you can't really be sensible in a life and death situation guys <laughs> you be careful out there Roger that Roger Roger anyway I'm really gonna enjoy Doleful now it's our turn I'll go first. Akane, El Santa, Lotus, and Akane. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Sure. Let's go! Alright, let's go. Then again, I don't think it's the voice actor that's doing it. I think he's purposely doing it because... Run! Yeah. Yeah, we have nine seconds. Just run. Oh, damn, it's counting down. Well, I mean, there's no timer. It's just beep, 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 beep. We can't go back! We need to hurry and find the device! Hey! Where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap! Start looking! I already am! No, you're just standing there. <sighs> Don't now tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Oh no! How many rooms do you think there are? Ah, fuck! We don't have time to count! We just need to open them all! <sighs> it... Shit! This one's no good! Locked. Same here. It's not moving. Oh, there it is at the end of the hallway. Run. Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds. I know that. God damn it. I'm asking you how many seconds we have left. Hurry. There it is. It's the dead. Get over here. Come on, everyone. Looks like it stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how they individually take breaths. It's the wonderful thing about this game. It's the one thing I remember about it above everything else. They... <sighs> <sighs> There's another door at the end of the hallway. Really, no. Let's try this one first. Alright. And of course it won't open. A keyhole. Ooh, is that, um... I know this, I know this adds the... female symbol, but what planet is it? I don't What's know. What's this mark? It's Saturn? male? Oh, it's male. No, okay, not I'm exactly. getting them mixed up. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Oh, okay. Why the hell did I think it was the female symbol? What the hell is wrong with me? Well, technically, they are the same symbol, but I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. No, I think the male symbol has a smaller circle. And, yeah, that could just be nonsensical. Well, however you pronounce the word. It could just be like, Oh, you can make the circle as big as you want, it's still the male symbol. But maybe there's a differentiation in the, s in the sizes. Maybe the Mars symbol is bigger in the circle. Even though Mars isn't as big of a planet as others, I guess. The symbols of the solar system! Oh, th that's right! Ah, the right! Sun. Saturn and uh, Earth. And Earth. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? 
I think so, yes. I see. Wait, where's Santa? Yeah, so, I looked the place over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Then that must mean... We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number. The door on the left has a B92, and the one on the right says B93. All right, let's open them. Okay, I'll get B93 then. One, two, three! Hey, it opened. Yeah, it did. I, uh, I didn't expect that. It was so easy. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. Can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. All right. Okay. Let's do this. Stick away out, stick away out. Do, 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 do. Oh. Anyway, that vase looks expensive. I wonder how much we could get for it. Are we gonna steal it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is a kind of weird looking picture. Do you think it's an abstract painting or something? It looks kind of like a demon with an elephant like nose, sucking on a human's brain. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> There's an error again. What's her brain made of? I'd say I'd mind finding out a little more about what goes on in there. Okay, that sounds creepy, but it's not Junpei saying that. So... <laughs> it's a table made of wood. Hey, there's something here. Oh, let's take a box of matches. Matches! Oh yeah, how's your fever? You feeling better now? Oh yeah. Yes. I'm fine. It didn't show up at all in the other ending. Let me see your forehead. Oh! I <laughs> guess it really has gone down. Are you <laughs> worried about me? Maybe. Hey, come on, it's not like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I am. <laughs> By the way, Jumpy? Hmm? How did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D-deck. Damn straight. But is that really the Damn truth? Damn straight! What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Are you hiding something? What would I hide? Well, I, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? <laughs> you mean, like, the number of men I've dated? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know? <sighs> don't worry. Only 18. <laughs> <laughs> Time zero. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. Oh, yeah, I, I, I see. Just the fact that that part's voice acted is hilarious. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D-deck. Well, you do have a point. Also, if you guys have seen Zero Time Dilemma, it's hilarious how different Akane looks in this compared to ZTD. <laughs> I just, that just clicked. I'm like, doesn't Akane look different in Zero Time Dilemma? And yes, yeah, she does. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yeah, I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. You got any ideas who it might be? No, nothing. Oh, um... Well, if it had something to do with school, and it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal. Or the janitor, or the lunch lady. No, I can barely remember any of them. Yeah, I know. Can we get back to it? Yeah! Ah, 
Jumpy, what are you doing? We don't have the time to be relaxing on a server. Oh, god damn it. It's a display case, but there's nothing to be displayed on. How sad. Look at how the drawers are empty, too. Alright. Oh, map. This isn't a painting, it's a map. And it looks like a map of the ship's interior. Oh, this is a great find. I think it'll be really useful. Let's take it with us. It is now possible to use the map screen. <sighs> this ship is bigger than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. <laughs> Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro. Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. Do you remember what Zero said? He said a lot of things. Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? Hmm, that's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. Hmm. Do you think this boat is... Um, a replica? Yeah, I actually do think it's a replica of the Titanic, honestly, because it's like... When you think about beat boats these days, and there's not really much examples I can give, but the Titanic was one of the largest boats that could actually be used for people to be transported on. Such as rich people, they're usually paid to get on it first because no one else is allowed on it because of the money. Um, but do you know how big this boat is? It reminds me of the Titanic a lot, but the Titanic sank. So I don't think it's the gigantic because who knows what the hell happened to that. But I do think it's a similar boat. I just think that. A replica of the Titanic? A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? Fans. <laughs> crazy Titanic fans. <laughs> no way. Do you even know how much money that would take? No idea. But all they've got to do is break even, you know? Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. Oh my god, I'm loving this voice acting. Hell, with marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they'd know what to do with. Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? It's the site of the worst accident in history. <sighs> Over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. A curse, huh? Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know, curses and stuff? Well, yeah. Yeah, well, um, I, I guess so, I, to a certain extent. Uh, what about you? No, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. Yes, I do believe in curses. In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. What? What the hell? A curse sank the Titanic. The curse of the Egyptian mummy. Oh my god. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra. Okay. Which was stolen from a pyramid. I mean, where else would an Egyptian mummy be? And they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, haven't you ever heard that one? No, but that did scare me a little bit. So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right! That mummy, the priestess, supposedly, she was special. What do you mean? Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. Pretty? Yes. But it, she was a mummy. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I, uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax? Yeah? The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And Yes, saponification. But that's not what it was. Huh? That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what was it? They say that she was frozen. Ooh! What? They're frozen? I snide shit. That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. Hashtag, that is not a spoiler. It was in the opening cutscene. <laughs> you know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, 
all of that water was frozen. Wow. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. Even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. That's crazy. <laughs> I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. I didn't know? Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Huh? Th nah, that seems too silly to be true. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. W well, yeah, um... <laughs> Cut for words? Ice that doesn't melt, even in the desert? Does, does something like that really exist? Well, probably. No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Hmm. All right, back to it. Hey, yeah, Connie, want to go to bed? It's a light blue blanket with some designs on it. Someone made it bed, or at least never unmade it. There's only bed sheets under the blanket. Nothing exciting. Blanket. Shouldn't we get take another look at this blanket? No, I think we've covered it pretty well. Looks like that one was lame enough to get it to blush a little. A blanket. So well made, it'll sh fly off. Oh, come on, I want uh, I want a Connie to... A bed frame. Now we don't have to worry about falling off. I... Toss and turn when I sleep. She's blushing again. What the hell is she thinking about? Bed frame. No, damn it. She's not going to say anything. Besides that, it's a bottle with water in it. This is the bedroom. They probably have it here because your throat always feels dry when you wake up. My throat's dry, but I think that's another... I think that's because I'm a little nervous right now. Well, we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, did you want to take a shower together? Whoa! Just kidding. <laughs> Too late to take it back now. My brain's already working out the picture. My throat was dry already. The shower isn't helping. A wooden cupboard. There are cups inside, surprising no one. Okay, so let's turn around here. It's a dresser. There's nothing on top. Oh, dresser key. This is the mirror for the dresser. And now she's playing with her hair. Does she ever realize she's doing that? Hey, we don't have time for that. Come on, it's not like there's anyone here you need to impress. Yes, there is. Who? What, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Ah, forget it, jump. <laughs> the chair that goes with the dresser. There's nothing particularly interesting. That's hilarious. Okay. Um... Go in here. There's a little black and um, blue platform protruding from the shower wall next to the knobs. Um, it's it's for putting soap on. I used a shower once, so I know. Once? It's just a shower head. There's nothing special about it. It's the bathroom wall. There are square tiles all over it. Walls covered with square tiles. You can go in. It looks like... Oh my god. Fine. Oh, no we can't. Never mind. Okay. That makes... Zero sense, but okay. Sorry. Uh, I thought... <laughs> okay. Shower curtains, huh? Let's try closing it. Alright. Let's check the toilet. There's nothing there. The tank's empty. There isn't even water in it. Oh uh, yeah, why don't we go back to the living room? Okay, let's go back. I'm gonna go check on everyone else. Jumpy... Ah, fudge. Sorry. Where are you going? I was thinking of going over to Lotus's room. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm just going to go check out up on them. Is there something wrong with that? Well, no. Come back soon. Sure thing. I'll leave the rest to you. Sure, leave it to me. Alright, off to the room. Ah, it's like in a replica, except this isn't complete. There's a square tile in the frame. It's glued in there quite well. I don't think you can take it out. That sucks. Looks like a valuable vase. Empty, though. Seems to be a room on the left side of the vase. Okay then. It's the bathroom wall. The whole wall is covered in the square tiles. Okay then. Let's try clo Oh, what the hell? Okay. Uh, no, I don't want No, go away. Go out. Go back. Thank you. A candle with a candlestick. This might come in handy. Cool. Well, this is the display case. Check it out. The plates and shit look really expensive. You want to take a look? Come on, you stupid thing. Open. It's locked. 
Yeah, it looks that way. And we need to find a key that opens it. Okay then. Hey, check this out. That's a pretty nice servo. I know. It's a shame I can't take it back with me. <laughs> hey, Junpei. That room's pretty dark. Don't you have something that will give us light? Something that will give us light? Oh, right. We have matches, don't we? I know. If I use these matches to light the candle. Awesome. With the light from the candle, maybe we can take a look around over here. It gets so hot when I hold it. I want to put it down. Oh, well, why don't you sit on top of the dresser? It's flat there. At least it won't fall over. Oh yeah, good idea. Cool. Hey, it got pretty bright. Now we can take a look around a little. Okay, I want to open this with the dresser key. Let's see, this... Yes! Yes, it worked! Ooh, one of the tiles. Nice. Alright then. Bottle full of water. I don't think we're going to need this for anything. It's a picture of an old cruise ship. Um. Oh, it's a curtain. Huh? Hey, what the hell? It's got dark all of a sudden. Maybe the candle got blown out. We should go see. Damn it. The hell? There's a candlestick covered in melted wax on top of the dresser. Hey, what's this? The top of the candlestick looks weird. You're right. It's all bumpy. Candlestick key? Wow. Maybe it's for the display case. Let's see if the candlestick key will do anything. Yes, it opened. Alright, pull that shit open. Here we go. Hey, Junpei. You got a minute? Uh, yeah. Hmm? Here, take this. A bookmark? What is this for? Uh, do you want me to read a book? I found it in between some of the cushions on the sofa. Pretty sure it ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figured we might as well hang on to it anyway. Then why don't you hold on to it? <laughs> you know what I hate most in the world? I got four things. Hope, faith, love, and luck. Wow, really? Hope, faith, love, and luck? Damn straight. And you hate these things? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Uh, not really, but what does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Well, see, each leaf on the four-leaf clover has a meaning to it. Okay. And that meaning is pretty much those four words. It's like a flower language. Well, I guess it's not a flower, is it? So, leaf language, I guess? Yeah, you could call them leaf words. <laughs> leaf words. Hope, faith, love, and luck. The meaning of the leaves on a four-leaf clover. So, yeah, I want you to take it, okay? Just touching it gives me the creeps. Take the damn thing, all right? Here. What do you want to do? Uh-huh. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. Huh. I think I'm good. Thanks, but no thanks. It's kind of weird to be getting presents from another dude, you know? <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess you do have a point. <laughs> I won't force it on you. Sure you don't want it? Uh, I don't want that. Yeah, I, I don't want it. Why don't you give it to Lotus? Oh, huh. good idea. Will do. Now, the reason I denied hey, that... Hey, you old bag. <laughs> you old bag. <laughs> I just found the... Perfect thing for a woman in her 40s. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. I've never actually denied the bookmark before. Um, the reason I denied that is because if you go through the doors that I think I'm going to be going through and you accept the bookmark, that's one out of the few things you have to do to get the true ending. And I do not want to get the true ending. <laughs> I do not want to get the true ending yet. Uh, I wouldn't be able to get the true ending anyway. I'd, I'd get the coffin ending. So yeah, I'm denying the bookmark just so I can completely d deny the true ending and coven ending. <sighs> that was funny though. That was very funny. 
It's a wall covered in small square tiles. They've all got geometric shapes to them. I'm gonna hang. I've already got two of them. That's cool. It's kind of running along the ceiling. Let's put a shower curtain on the hooks. Is that a hole? Yeah, there's a hole. What the hell? Try spreading the curtains. It's a hole in the curtain. If I look at it from ways back, I see a single tile. Alright, from here I can see what tile it is. Looks like it's fifth from the top and third from the right. Okay, so it's this one right here. What's up? You going back already? Well, I can't just leave June there by herself. Huh? What do you think? You're, you're her knight or her protector or something? You're creeping me out. Whatever, man. I'm going. <laughs> okay, so it's this one. Here it is. Yes, this one's loose. I think I can find it. I'm um, get it under with my nails, and yes! Awesome, we got three plates now. Okay, let's go back. The exit, Lotus and Center in the other room. I'm gonna go check on them. Alright, here we go. It's a tile in the frame, so I guess I'm supposed to put the tiles in the empty spaces. Alright, I'm gonna give it a shot. Alright, so, if I remember right, this goes over here. There we go. The dog. Yes, I did it! There, picture complete. And there goes the frame. Uh, what's this? What do you mean, what's this? Pretty obvious, isn't it? It's a hole in the wall. Looks like a hidden safe or something, you know? Anyway, let's take a look. I think there's something inside. Ah, the Mars key. What's awesome. the deal with this picture, anyway? Uh, looks like a dog, but then again, I think it's meant to be one of those types of pictures where they make it so... Drawn in a certain way with black and white colors that your eyes depending if they're attracted to brighter colors or darker colors You see different things So like for example, I'm more attracted to dark colors for some reason so I can see the dog clearly but the white stuff The white color I can't see what that's printing out Properly because it just looks like background stuff to me um, Yeah, I can see like a bird up there and stuff like that but other than that I don't really know I... I think I've seen this picture before. Where? In a book. There's a British biochemist named Sheldrake. He has a rather interesting theory. I saw this picture in his book. What's this interesting theory? Morphogenetic fields, which relies on the theory of morphic resonance. She said it! That's not the first time you're gonna hear about this shit, by the way. Oh my god, it's gonna come up more. Man, I can't deal with this. Just listening to you talk about it is giving me a headache. She hasn't even started. You do not want her to continue. It's not a difficult concept to grasp. In essence, he states that the shape of living organisms and their behavioral patterns are transmitted through a field not visible to the eye. Uh, what part of that isn't difficult? All right, how about this? Theory of the telepathic mechanism. Telepathy? Yes, telepathy. Well, perhaps not exactly telepathy, but it's close enough for a simple approximation. <laughs> are you serious? Telepathy? <laughs> Who do you think we are? Kids from the 70s? I can't believe someone would actually do serious research on something like that. Yes, I agree. I read the book, but I can hardly say I understood it. I'm in no position to defend or condemn anything it said. It was probably just someone latching on to a statistical outlier from some study and turning it into a ridiculous theory. There's no scientific merit to any of it, I'm sure. But even so, I... Um... <laughs> anyway, I saw a picture like that one in his book. Hey, what do you think this picture looks like? What do you mean? Isn't it just like abstract or something like that? I know what it looks it's like. It's just black and white scribbles. There's no meaning there. What about you, Junpei? I think it looks hmm, like... I guess it looks like... A fun Yurimpa! Oh my god. I want to hear this out loud. Uh, uh, uh a fun Yurimpa. <laughs> See? I, I mean, this totally looks like one. Right here and here. What the hell is a fun Yurimpa? <laughs> what, 
What what do you mean? What the hell is a Funya Rimpa? <laughs> you mean you, you don't know? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. How the hell would I know? <laughs> How could you not know? <laughs> that's whew, that's practically blasphemous. <laughs> oh. Oh, say you're sorry. <laughs> Apologize to the Funya Rimpa. Goodness, you are such a rude woman. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. Junpei, are you just screwing around? <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. I'm just gonna tell you. This is a dog. Yeah, See? I thought so. Like but this. Still... <laughs> yeah, I I know. Don't worry. So. Now we know what it's a picture of, but I, I don't see how that helps us. <laughs> a TV show from Great Britain did an experiment once. They took two similar pictures. Both of them were difficult to identify, initially. But once you figured out the answer, you couldn't see it as anything else. These two pictures. The first was a woman wearing a hat. The other one, well, to make it easier. Let's just say it was this picture of a dog. So. Their experiment. First, they sent the picture to other parts of the world, outside the reach of British airwaves. To Ireland, the US, Africa, Europe, etc. Then, in each country, they gathered a number of test subjects. Roughly a thousand people. They were shown the two pictures and asked, what does this picture look like to you? The results weren't really interesting on their own. 9.2% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. 3.9% saw the dog in the dog picture. Then, two days later, they aired a new program on their show. During the 30-minute show, they broadcast the dog picture and its solution. The audience was estimated to be 200,000 people. After the broadcast, it was a safe bet that the number of people who knew the solution to the dog picture was at least that many. After another two days passed, they gathered more research subjects from areas outside the reach of British TV and radio. This time, they only found a sample of roughly 850 people. Naturally, none of them had participated in the first test. They were, however, given the same test and the same two pictures. The results were startling. 10% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. The previous test sat at a 9.2% success rate. Not much of a change, statistically. The dog picture, however, produced a very different result. The percentage of people able to successfully find the dog, it went from 3.9% to 6.8%, a very significant increase. So do you understand? Do you realize the significance of this experiment? There was no way the second group could have seen the picture. They lived far away from Britain and couldn't have seen it. But even so, it was only the success rate for the dog picture that went up. Why? How did that happen? What does it mean? Oh, wait, does this have something to do with that field or whatever it was that you were talking about earlier? A field not visible to the eye. Morphogenetic field. So, if more people know the answer, then that information will pass through the field. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Psych! <laughs> I was just kidding. You really shouldn't take me seriously. Oh my god. Well, I mean, the things I just told you about are true. They really did happen. But the results of that experiment really aren't anything to go by. They could have easily falsified them. In the end, I'm sure they were just in it for the ratings. They are a TV station, after all. Right! <laughs> Man, I gotta admit, you had me there for a minute. I, uh, really thought you were serious. <laughs> of course not. Like I told you before, I'm sure it's all just pseudoscience. Uh, oh, okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough nonsense. We've got the key. Let's get out of here. Word. Huh. A sure field looks not like visible to the naked eye. I still think it looks like a fun Yurimpa. Morphogenetic field. All right, so let's go to the hallway. I'll go get June. You guys head for the door. Okay. Roger that. Hey, Jumpy, where are you going? Uh, I was going to get you. I know, Santa told me. Come on, let's go. 
We don't have any reason to go back in there, Junpei. Uh, okay. Can I click on the dead? No, I cannot. Yes, it unlocked. Good job, Junpei. Good job. Now we can get going. Come on, what are you guys standing around for? Let's get out of here. Come on, Jumpy, let's go. Alright, let's go. And we found it.